Hi, everybody, and welcome to a new edition of the Honda Send Show. I'm your host, Gord Wilson. We begin this week's show with a look behind the scenes at the game we know and love. Seeing a game in person on television or checking the highlights online is one thing, but not a lot of people stop to think about what it takes to bring that game alive from a production standpoint. So we thought it would be interesting to go behind the scenes and walk you through a typical game day for our Sens TV and production crew. It all starts about 9.30 in the morning when the first member of the production crew arrives to begin the setup for the pre-game media availability in the media room at Scotiabank Place. There can be anywhere from five to over a dozen cameras on any given day, depending on the importance of the game. Coach Corey Clouston answers questions from the media in attendance, and then it's off to the team's dressing room, where the players are made available in what the industry calls player scrums. Positive. All right, so after shooting media coverage of the scrums prior to the game, we come upstairs here to the control room where we put finishing touches on our game day preparations. So we're just uh, putting together the pregame media, um, basically the Gord's preview, all the player scrums, we edit those, and uh, once we add a few graphics and some uh, transitions, we're going to edit them, put them online, and uh, they'll be ready to go for the pregame. Once this is done, a number of things start happening as most of the crew for the game begins to arrive. We always do a pre-game test to ensure everything's connected properly. Make sure there's new batteries in the mics, you know, don't want a, a mic failing on somebody, one of our hosts during the game. We work off a rundown. Everything is basically scheduled for TV timeouts, for intermissions. All those clips, all those things have to be prepared and loaded. When that's all said and done, it's then time for a production meeting to go over the game plan for that night's game. Throughout the course of a game, we have about 100 to 125 different elements, anything from playing back a 30-second commercial to, do, to doing something interactive with Sparty. So just going over anything special that's happening during the game and making sure everybody's on the same page and ready to go. Once the meeting breaks, some of the crew head down to the concourse level to shoot features for Sens TV and the Honda Sens show. Then it's time for the Sens to take to the ice for the pregame warm-up. Oh yeah, we shoot that for the scoreboard too. Uh, right now I'm sitting in the visitor team penalty box. I'm going to be going out to shoot the anthem with Lyndon. Sens Army, voici vos senators. Here are your Ottawa Senators. I'm on the headset talking to our video director, talking to our DJ, uh, our signage guys, our floor director, making sure everybody's on the same page, in the right place, at the right time, and ready to go. We have two cameras in the crowd, plus we have a third camera that sort of covers hockey. You're asking them to get shots for you that you can show. Um, you're also looking for stats, you're looking for replays, anything that sort of tells the game's story, keeps fans entertained, uh, gets them into the game, and gets them cheering. There's a lot that goes on, and uh, sometimes we have to run from the 300 levels to ice level in like 30 seconds, and in uh, high heels, it's not, <laughs> not always the best shoes to wear. Once the game is over, it's off to do the post-game media, which works very similar to how the pre-game does, with coaches and players speaking to the media about the game. And even though it's getting late, the day is not done yet. All Access, a post-game show for Sens TV, is shot in Club 101 at Scotiabank Place, following the post-game media availability. As they say, it's all in a day's work, and that's a typical game day here for the in-house production crew of the Ottawa Senators. I'm Gord Wilson. We'll see you then.
All right. Who's ready? Thank you for your